this is a shock. Like this is a shock because I didn't expect it. The green machine is hitting the road for its safety inspection. Welcome back to the channel guys. We're taking the bus to Manly, which is just over the Harbour Bridge. We're gonna get it uh, registered. Um, I've mentioned before, I'm a little bit nervous about this. It's a 1997 Toyota Coaster. Um, let's just pray it goes well. Yeah, let's just pray it goes well together. So I'm gonna strap him in. I'll put you on the dashboard. We'll have a little chat along the way. And let's get cracking. Please not today. What the frig is going on with this? Maybe it's just a little bit cold. Oh God. You're okay, you stay there. I'm just gonna bring that mirror in a little bit. Okay, here we go. We are moving. Not driven this for a very, very long time. Um, so I've just had to insure it this morning, third party. It's already fully, fully comp insured. So I don't know why I had to purchase more insurance. You just have to in Australia. I've lost my bottle. I'm a bit scared. I've lost my bottle with driving. I've not driven like big anything like this for a long time. Oh, and I hate driving through Sydney as well. We're going to be going over over Harbour Bridge, and yeah, I'm just not a fan. All okay so far, though. Not broken down. We are going to have to stop and get some fuel on the way. I'm, just, I'm, just, like, I'm always looking about what's that noise? What's that? I mean, there's a lot of noises when you buy vehicles like this. If you're gonna, if you ever do camper van van life sort of thing. Noises just becomes part of your life, especially engine, especially listening into engine noises. So far, so good. We've only done literally about 90 seconds of driving. Already had the first uh, middle finger being put up, being put up at me, and we have literally done half a mile. I don't know what it is. Sometimes in Sydney, people just get so high rate when they're driving. Yep, no thanks from you either. If you don't move within 0.2 seconds of a green traffic light, they will beep you. And if you did that in some of the areas that I've lived in the UK, if you beep someone for drive for not accelerating off quickly enough at a green light, you wouldn't have a windscreen left. Now the police can pull me over um, because I haven't got rego, I haven't got this, this bus registered. You can only drive this bus or any vehicle that isn't registered on the public highway if you are going to get it registered, you know, or coming back from it. Um, or inspected I should say. So that fits into today. Now I did actually ask him at the police station, I mean you can't get any more sort of like prepared than that can you? Um, and I was like, because obviously there's fines, I was like what about if we get fined? And he was like, you know, have you got like detection cameras that will you know pick up your registration and you get a lovely fine through the post. Apparently they don't have them in New South Wales. So potentially there's a lot of people driving around without registration. Um, yeah, traffic, bad. Right, I'm at the petrol station. I can't even remember where the bloody cap is. I think it's on that side. Yeah, that side. Reverse. litre fuel tank this is and of course I didn't fill it up because that would be a lot of money it'd be like $200 that honestly I love doing like stuff like this so much like building this sort of van and stuff 
but we want to go on holiday there's a few things we want to do and if something's going to cost a real lot of money it's just come, going to come at the wrong time let's go uh, we've got 29 minutes to get there that is a, it's some big trailers you know in Australia like what nothing that you've ever seen like when you like comparing to trucks in the UK and I was looking at this video last night about some people who were living in a van and they've gone traveling out in the outback and these road trains that they call them um, big uh, trucks with like multiple trailers on the back went past them with so much sort of like force the air blew their solar panel off clean both of them I mean hopefully that digger on the back of the floor because that would uh, really spoil it get through that light Sorry, it's not fast this thing. We ain't going to be getting any speeding tickets. A little bit noisy as you guys have probably already figured that out. So we're going into the tunnel. We are 1.5 miles away. Um, it feels fine. This bus feels fine. You know, cruising on the road. I think it's going to do really well. I think it's when you when you've got that sort of stop-start city, horrible traffic. No engine really likes that, does it? So that's when the bus feels sluggish. But on the road, you know, when you you're cruising goes into gear fine, um, there's no noises that sound weird, well no more weird than usual. I've got to take it into the garage and he says someone's going to do my lights for me, maybe that means check them. I think they like surfing at this place. A lot of surfboards. Right, I've just had the bus go to the garage to get registered and have them inspect it to make sure it's roadworthy. And uh, this is a shock. Like, this is a shock because I didn't expect it. It passed! Passed it, inspected it, it's all good. Buzzing. Now we can register it. Uh, and it's good for another year on the road. Sweet. I mean, it was like they, they knew the bus straight away because they'd seen it and it's been to that particular garage a lot of times. Um, they inspected it, checked it, blah, 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 blah. Did the registration work. Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. And something mental has just happened. So I'm driving this bus, I'm in this nature reserve at the minute, uh, driving this bus down that track, down there, uh, and then a guy's shouting at me, because I saw a couple of vans there, so some dudes, you know, van lifers, whatever, um, and he's like, stop, stop, stop. I was like, stop, put my head out the window. He goes, this used to be my van. This used to be mine. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, this used to be mine years ago. And I was like, you being serious? And he showed me the photos of, of him and this bus. And I was like, that is mental. Um, and I now know where this bus has come from, how it started its life. It was a sort of courtesy bus at a ski resort, um, not far, like near, near the ski resort in, in Australia. Genderbine is it, I think, or something like that. But yeah, it was like a courtesy bus. So dropping people like, I don't know, to and from, the chalet in the ski area, I'm not quite sure, but it was black, it was wrapped in black. So it looks a lot different now. I found out where he got the um, the green wrap from, eBay. So I'm gonna get some more of that, but that was so good to meet somebody who, he's like, I love this man, I love this bus. It makes me so happy to see it. It was a really nice conversation. I'm gonna grab his Instagram on the way out, actually. Buddy's being walked. 
haven't you mate i'm gonna look at driving back um i'm gonna register this actually in person i think because the online the online doodah to do it online just doesn't seem to be going through so you can actually drive a vehicle that's unregistered to get registered um so that's what we'll be doing but we're going to go back over the sydney harbour bridge i think yes we are there's always tolls always tolls in sydney it's really annoying back we're back right we didn't get pulled over by the police which is brilliant news the van has passed its inspection just need to get it registered now and um, that's the direction that we want to be on that is what we want no surprises straightforward let's go right buds he's very hot it's got very hot all of a sudden let's go and wait more up Loz is on nights I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video yeah she just worked a night shift last night so she's uh, well it's only what 12 o'clock so yeah she'll still be asleep now catching up on her nights uh, missed sleep right guys see you next time like share take care of yourselves see you later